this is an overview of the next generative AI project that my students and I will be working on. We will use the Cloud 3 module in Amazon Bedrock to analyze a Vanguard ETF fund. This analysis will help us determine which company's share Vanguard is buying or selling on a monthly basis. If you are interested in following along, you are more than welcome to join us. And if you can't join us live, you can watch the project on the AOS Note YouTube channel at a later date. We will use Amazon Bedrock to analyze the equity of a Vanguard fund. So this is an index fund and this index fund is invested in 244 large cap companies in the United States. When you go to Vanguard's website, which is where we are here, and I'm looking at this particular fund. And if I come down here, right here, it has the stock holdings. I've always been curious about the stock holdings, how the amount of shares they have in all the different companies they are invested in is changing from month to month. So that way I can know which companies they are buying more of and which companies they are reducing their shares of. This was a question I had as an investor. For example, you can see the holdings they have now. They are invested in Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, Amazon, Meta, Google, and so on. And this is just a list of 10 of it. Remember, there are 244 companies in this holding. In this fund, for Microsoft, they have 3 million shares. For Apple, they have 6 million. And they give you this report every month. So if you look at this drop down, they have the report for January 2024, and they have the report for February. They haven't posted one for March yet. Me as an investor, I want to know the difference in the shares from month to month. So that way I can know what companies they are buying more shares of and what companies they are buying less share of. The problem is that when you come here and you download um, the report for, for example, let's say I downloaded January 2024 and February 2024, you get something like this. So this is the January report, get this. So you can see their holdings, Microsoft, Apple, the shares they had in January, right? Then these are all the companies. There's a lot, right? So this is the report for February, right? You can see here, February. So what I want to know as an investor is how has their number of shares changed from January to February? And that was the problem I wanted to solve with Amazon Bedrock. So I downloaded the report myself and I put the CSV file here. So you can see this is the CSV file of those reports I just showed you. This is the one for January and this is the one for February. This is the project we will work on. So now that I got the report, I just pretty much use Python and Boto3's client for Bedrock. I'm not going to show you guys this code. I'll let us work on it together but I'll just run it so you guys can see what it would do. What I want Bedrock to do is, imagine if you have to go through this list and you have to find the difference in shares between January and February for all the companies that are on this list. It is an impossible task for any human being to do. So I want to solve this problem by getting Claude 3 that is in Bedrock to analyze this data for me. So what I want Claude to do in Bedrock is Compare these two data, and this is what I gave it. I'll show you here. So you can see here, this part of the code represents what we will type in here. This is where you type your message. You can see message cloud. This part of my code represents that. You can see here, message. And I'm going to show you every single thing. And here I'm telling it, I've provided you with two documents, meaning these two documents over here. Formatted January holdings and formatted February holdings, these two CSV files. Please compare these two documents and create a list of the top 30 holdings whose shares count has changed between January and February. So I'm telling it to compare these two lists and give me the top 30 companies that their share count has changed. And here, I also say for each holdings, 
please only provide the holdings name. So I wanted to provide the holdings name, the ticker symbol for the holding, and the difference in shares between January and February. So I'm saying, give me a list of the 30 companies that the shares has changed from January to February, and only give me the company's name, the stock symbol for the company, and how much the shares has changed between January and February. Now I'm going to run all this. It's running. And there you go, it has run. When it generates the response in Python, I am saving the response to a file. You can see when I ran this, it pretty much went into AWS, gave the file to Plot3 Heiko in Bedrock and analyzed the data for me. And that took less than 10 seconds. Right here, it gave me the results here. And I also said, I want to print it to a file. So this is the file. So you can see here, this is the response that it gave me. Based on the provided information, here is the list of top 30 holdings whose shares has changed between January and February. Here, it gave me the company Microsoft, their ticker symbol, and it increased by 66,000 shares. So meaning that from January to February, they bought more shares of Microsoft. The second company was Apple. They bought 130,000 more shares. NVIDIA, they bought 21,000 more shares. Amazon, they bought 80,000 more shares. This is a curiosity that I had as an investor that I'm able to use generative AI in AWS, Amazon Bedrock, and one of the modules, Claude 3, Heiko, to solve.